Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over the tour series for the West Somerset Railway. Anyways, let's get into it. First off, it's like BR Class 47. Um, this is this is the West Somerset Railway variant. It is green instead of blue. So yeah. Um, anyways, let's enter the cab and then climb up in the air. On the back wall, you're going to want to make sure the battery isolation switch is closed. And the vacuum brake is selected to your um, brake, to correct brake. Um, for example, we're hauling coaches, so we're going to have to put it to vacuum brake passenger. Um, up here is the DSD isolation switch. Um, it's to the left of the left cab light and the left cab light is right above this door on the left um up here this giant block thing um is your AWS console so if you do that and then to stop that noise um you just have to hit a little button here and there you go um and then to turn it off you simply just turn cab change over lever to off and then isolation switch is isolated up here is your right cab light switch as well above this door And yeah, that's basically everything on the back wall. Um, we'll go over the parking brake in a second. Might want to make sure that's on. Um, so your train doesn't move. Um, master key. Um, turn that to on. And then put the reverser to engine only. Um, then you can start the engine. And there you go. That's your engine started. Um, you can put it to engine only for now. Um, might want to put your straight brake on as well. And you can release the driver's brake, which is the lo um, which is the train brake, which controls the locomotive and coach's brake. Straight brake only controls the locomotive brakes. Um, you can also stop the engine, but uh, you'll just have to turn on master key, engine only, then hold engine start. Here's your horn. Right here's the AWS acknowledge button. Alright, wipers. Then you can turn it off. Um, over here on the conductor's side, um, we got a wiper here as well. A horn. And a DSD button. Down here, um, don't know what that is. Um, but over here, is the emergency brake valve um, in case you're in a like very sticky situation and you need to apply that um, and just apply it and then you just um, put it back to the release position after you've stopped um, here um, don't have blinds for some reason um, but yeah if this light if this light like goes out or something, um, and you hear like a ring, you just press the acknowledge button up there. Um, after you're all set up, you can release the parking brake on the back wall. Um, 
release the straight brake, put the reversion forward, and use this big lever here um, to apply power. Um, so yeah, um, that console switch, hang on, let's go over to it. The switchboard. So, over here, we got, um, nothing up top. Um, here we got a tail light switch that controls the tail lights on the other end of the locomotive. So, to turn on all the headlights or tail lights on this um, side, you have to go to the other, the opposite cab, and then turn on the tail light switch. Here we got a desk light switch. Those are your instrument lights. Um. And head code box light switch. Don't know where that is, to be honest. But yeah. Um. Nothing there either. But um. That's it for the BR class 47. Um. Now let's move on to the next locomotive. So now we are on the BR class 09. Um, this is a different um, locomotive than the class 08 on Northern Trans Pennine, um, Great Western Express, and Northern Trans, uh, not Northern Trans Pennine, Tees Valley Line. Um, this is the West Somers Railway um, class 09. Um, I mean, it looks very similar to class 08. Um, but you can see it has like these red things and you know, it's green. So yeah. Anyways, let's get into the cab here. Um, into the door, climb up the steps. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot of um, stuff to control in this cab. Um, so yeah, should be quick and easy. Um, here we got a wiper. Um, valve thing, and it actually parks the wiper itself after you turn it off. Unlike the class 08, you have to kind of fit it around with it, or just leave it on. Um, you should leave the parking brake on until you're all set. Um, back here's like a little hot plate that you can't really interact with. Um, wiper here as well um so yeah a door here as well um second man seat is basically the same as this seat even though it's called a driver's seat um here your wiper is right here um window is right here um up here you got like a little um, light control switch. You can turn on the interior lights, which are the cabin lights. And something that's really unique is if you have to turn on the marker lights, but um, if I go out here, you see they're not on. You have to actually walk around the entire locomotive and turn them on. Um, so yeah, that's what you do. Go up to each marker light, um, turn them on. So yeah, on the outside, there's nothing really. You can climb up, climb up the ladder though, but you can't put a little tail light here, nor on the other side. There is no battery isolation switch on the outside of the Class 09, so yeah. 
Um, also, I me I'm going to mention this real quick before I forget. Um, coaches ha on West Summer Australia have two coupler types, a buckeye and a hook. So, yeah. If you're just coupling coaches together, I suggest putting them on buckeye. And if you're coupling a locomotive to coaches, make sure the buckeye is switched to a hook. So, yeah. Um, I was going to say that um, earlier, but uh, I forgot. So, yeah. Um, over here, you also got the wiper here. And, yeah. So that's um, it without the driver's seat. So now we shall sit in the driver's position. Down here there's no DSD, so I don't think there's AWS on this thing either. So, yeah. There's no safety systems in a Class 09. Um, class 09 is sort of faster than the Class 08, too. Um, also, if you just hit the gauges thing there. Um, it automatically goes to the side um, instead of you just having to slowly drag it to the other side. Um, now you're ready to sit down. Um, you will be putting the master switch to start position. And there you go. Then you can put it to on. Um, and you can put your verser to the direction of choice. Over here, you got brake dials. Um, this is the emergency brake valve up here. This little red switch. Um, so yeah. Same for the other side. You got like a red switch over there. Like I said, um, the seat over there is the same as this side. So yeah. Nothing to interact with here or here, um, besides the brake and the whistle. Um, you got a horn here. On a class 08, it's like a whistle. On the class 09, it's like a yeah, it's like a horn. So yeah. Um, then you can release the driver's brake. Um, this little bar here is a straight air brake, which is the locomotive brake. Um, so yeah. And here is a parking brake, so you can release that. And then you can move this up. And you are now good to run. Um, the West Side Rush Railway or the Class 09. So yeah, that concludes the Class 09. Now let's move on to the next locomotive. So now we are on the BR Class 33. Um, this is the only variant so far. Um, this is a locomotive DLC, by the way. So you need West Summers Railway, and um, you need to buy the BR Class 33 locomotive add-on in order to get this. So yeah, anyways, let's climb aboard to get started. On the back wall here, or in the back, because it's a separate compartment. This, um, want to make sure that this is vacuum normal. Brake timing selector to passengers or goods. Um, want to make sure battery isolation switch is closed. Um, 
back here. Um, nothing else to really mess around with. So, let's get into the cap. Um, on the back are the cavalite switches. So, yeah. Um, to the left, really, on the side here, there's really nothing to mess around with. So, yeah. Um, but we're gonna go over here first. Um, this is the second man side. Um, got a DSD pedal down there. Um, exhauster speed up. I don't know what it does. Horn. Um, and the train brake. Up here is your wipers. So, yeah. And then you can just put them in the park. And then. And then shut them off. Here's your locomotive brake. Um, and yeah. You got an AWS button. And yeah. Along with the reverser and a throttle. Um, now we're gonna sit in the driver's position. Um, down there is also a DSD pedal. <coughs> um, got a sander here. Um, so yeah. Got an exhauster speed up. I don't exactly know. Like I said, I don't know what it does. So, yeah. Kind of a dummy with this. Um, so yeah. Um, tr uh, the brake pin. Don't know what a brake pin does, does it? Uh, let's see. What's the brake pin? Oh, also get a wiper up there. I don't know what a brake pin does. But, uh, yeah. You can release this and put it to initial application. Um. Destination blind light. Um. So it's on these. Um, but I'll go over that in a second. Um. Here you got an instrument light switch, which is pretty cool, because they're red. Um, cab heater, um, and yeah, the Mindsters, I don't know what they do. Um, you can leave the handbrake on. Um, turn on the headlights, um, all that stuff. Also over here. Um, is your AWS control panel like you can turn it on and yeah um so as you see these little switches here um these are actually controlling the outside destination line um but usually for me I just put it to 33 because I don't really know what to put them to for certain locations so I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Um, so yeah. Um, you can leave this on for a second. Um, release the handbrake. Um, turn on the master key. Put it to engine only. Hold engine start. And once the locomotive is started, you'll be good to go. And put the reverser to your direction of choice. Release the brake. Um, what else is here? You got an AWS Acknowledge. Um, show you what it does. If you ever hear that, press that and you're good. So yeah. Um <clears throat> that's really it. So now you can apply throttle with this chat thing here. Also you got a horn here. And you're rolling. 
So yeah, that concludes the class 33. Now let's move on to the class 52. Alright, so now we're on the final one, the BR Class 52 Western. Also, yes, um, Class 20s are layer on this route. You can clearly see a Class 20 and hear it down there. Um, this is basically the same as the Great Western Express one. Um, except it's in like a red livery. I don't know why they made it red. Um, but yeah, these are the same ones from I was an express, so yeah. But uh, let's get in. Also, I think this is just there for some reason. Um, but I don't know why. But let's get in. Um, we got a little hallway here. Um, you can turn on the corridor light, but I don't think it's gonna be turning on yet because master key is turned off. Or the master switch or the key. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So, here, you're going to want to make sure the battery is like the switch is closed. And then that will activate the corridor lights. So, yeah. Um. Also, back here is DSD. Um, if you're hauling passenger coaches, you're going to want to make sure there's vacuum brake passenger. And for goods, vacuum brake goods. But since West Summer Australia doesn't really doesn't have freight trains, you're most likely going to have it on vacuum passenger, unless you're using the Great Western Express Class 52. So yeah, here we got cab light, um, and yeah, handbrake. Um, we'll go over that in a second. Just trying to make sure there's nothing here. I need to go over, but um, the second man's position, um, down here, there's nothing really to mess around with, um, got a horn switch, um, by the way, I might have missed some things in the other locomotive, so yeah, this might be not be as accurate but yeah I try my best here we got dead man switch and lights I don't know what they are um, fuel transfer pump isolation put that to normal along with engine start isolation um, so you can start up the engines and yes this thing has two engines um, now we can sit in the driver's position. Um, yeah. So, here you're going to want to make sure the master key is on. Put the reverser to engine only. Um, then you can start the locomotive engines. Then you can start this engine. And you're going to do it. And you can put that to forward or reverse or wherever you're going. Here we got wipers. Um. There. Along with white and left wiper. And yeah. The straight brake. Is your locomotive brake? Um, driver's brake. You want to make sure it's initial application. 
But um, we'll put the straight brake to 100 because we're only got a locomotive. And you can release the driver's brake. Um, as you saw, there are two red lights here, up here. If there's no red lights, then you're good. Um, also, you got a rear facing horn. It's the same as this one. And low horn. Um, got AWS button and sand button. Um, down here you got light your control panel. Um, you're gonna want to make sure headlight and marker lights are on. Um, so yeah, train classification lights. Um, instrument lights, and that's all. Is that control panel? And here's also your AWS control panel. You come back up, hit this button, and you're good. But we won't be using AWS, so we'll just turn it off. AWS is probably, um, AWS is really easy, along with the US alerter system. German is really hard. So yeah. Um, I think that's it. So you can release the handbrake. Also, um, if you look below the handbrake wheel, you see that little bar thing going down? Once it's all the way to the bottom, that means your handbrake is fully released. And yeah. Um, and then I think that's everything. You also can, you also have, um, brake dials, speedometer, etc. So, yeah, I think that's everything in the class 42. Um, and I think that concludes this video. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or questions about future videos, comment below. Make sure to give this video a like if you liked the video. Um, also, maybe please subscribe. Um, Thank you for 100 subscribers again. Um, also, um, Glasgow Cathcart Circle is releasing tomorrow, if it's out, um, Wednesday night. So, yeah. Um, so, I'll be streaming it Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, so, yeah. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, um... Make you subscribe. If you do, you'll become part of the awesome squad and first one in thousand subscribers club. But, um, also, if you don't want to miss a future upload, make sure to ring the notification bell in order to be notified of a future upload. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.